everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I have an interesting example of stupid Duracells ruining my life again. And uh, I wanna show you guys a very quick remedy. This is something that all y'all should have. We're gonna utilize some vinegar, to solve this problem of corrosion, and uh, clean it proper. So let's go ahead and flip this camera around. I'll show you guys the technique, and uh, we'll see it live on a piece of test equipment. This is also prominent in things like children's toys, remote controls, things that you don't touch very often. Uh, but you as biomeds, your test equipment, don't use Duracell batteries for one. And for two, if you do and you have a leaky situation, this technique is going to solve your problem. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. This is an oxygen meter. You see right here, we have some severe corrosion and... You see, this is the culprit. And if you see this little white mass starting on batteries like this guy, that one is starting to do it, all right? Now, this is gonna be a prominent situation. I, I've seen this in like safes, if you got an electronic control pad, uh, door locks, if you use AA batteries. Double A's are just the bane of everybody's existence because they leak and it's always Duracells. It's always Duracells. So what we we have here is this is a 5% acidic solution of apple cider vinegar. Normally I use white vinegar, but uh, here this is what we had on tap, and uh, it smells delightful. Not not really, just kidding. Uh, and I'm just going to use a regular brush, and I'm going to get off the excess vinegar, and you're going to see. So I paint it on. It's going to eat away at the corrosion almost instantly. And it takes it down to the base metal. Now, what is going on? Well, you see batteries themselves, they are leaking a base and vinegar is an acid. And when you combine the two, they neutralize and the acid will help clean the metal down to the base the base metal, which you can see right here. It just happened right before your eyes. Look at this battery. Not, I'm not gonna use these batteries on anything else, guys. Um, in fact, I found these in some test equipment and I'm just going through and clean up. You can see right there. It would probably work a little bit better if I used two hands, <laughs> but somebody has gotta work the camera. All right. Look at that. It's completely down to the metal. All the corrosion is gone. Now all that we have to do is go through with some distilled water and or 99% isopropyl alcohol, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to spray it down with alcohol to get rid of a the, the <laughs> very stinky cider smell. And at the same time to uh, flush out all the acid from those surfaces and to help leave a nice clean metal. The batteries, that was just for demonstration, you can see. Both of those batteries are cleaned up instantly. Vinegar works a treat. Now, I normally, like I said, wouldn't use apple cider vinegar. White vinegar normally works way better. It's a more pure substance. This guy here has got a whole bunch of floaties in it, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. We just want to clean those terminals, get it down the base metal. And then we have some isopropyl alcohol. We're gonna spray it down and let that pure isopropyl alcohol evaporate and uh, then we'll be good to go. So guys, we all have to deal with corroded batteries and it's, it's very prominent in things like uh, remote controls and kids toys and stuff. You don't have to throw them out. Guys, just use a little, little paintbrush, whatever you got, clean those terminals up. Just remember to flush out the vinegar when you're done because acids can also contaminate and corrode surfaces. So alcohol is my go-to. 99% pure alcohol is preferred because it evaporates to a almost perfectly clean surface and your meter is good to go. Thanks for watching guys.